I'm back today to see if I can deal with this tree a bit more and um, I got a message from someone called A B C spelled B E E S E. Um, yeah I didn't fancy climbing up a ladder um, so I did go and get a pole uh, saw so this is um, a pruner with this mechanism but you can also attach a saw to this part I'm going to give it a go and see how far I get I'm not going mad today I'm just going to do a bit I think yep it works for the smaller branches the pruning tool on that pole saw definitely works, it's taken off some quite big pieces. So most of the overhang, um, the smaller branches are now gone, so I've just got these bigger branches. Right, try the saw. It's hard to show you this um, handheld, but that saw went through that quite easily. A little bit hard work. Yep, good tip that. It's a bit like the silky saw, it's slow and methodical and not use too much force. But it worked. The blade on that's quite good. That's just um, a cheap Spear and Jackson pole saw. Well, £19 from Argos. Pretty good. Yep, that worked. That's quite a big uh, chunk. I'm going to see if I can get that branch down here next. It's going to be tricky. Might be a bit ambitious. I'm going to start it and see how it goes. I might have to stop. I might have to take it, the ones at the edge here, there, down first. Don't know. Let's give it a go. That definitely worked. Um, wasn't too much effort either. I'm quite surprised. I thought I'd be having aching arms because um, my arms are working above my... Well, actually they weren't working above my head. But it was slow and gentle and it seems to do it. Um, it does snap off at a certain point, but... That definitely worked. Um, let me start hearing that cracking noise though. I need to get out of the way quick. It's not quite obstructed my hazard sign, but uh, I might move it a little bit. So once these big ones are down, I can start dealing with them on the ground. It's much safer. And there's some good firewood and some good carving wood there. Some nice beach. Hmm. What's handy? is the lovely Mr. Mac Tightwad made me a cover for my silky saw. And when I've taken the saw off, the pole saw, it goes in here perfectly with the silky saw. That way down. So we can go in there together and uh, keeps it all safe. Um, I've put the poppers on my uh, ground cloth so now it can be adaptable into a bag or various other things. I'm working on the principle of um, little and often with this. So do a couple of hours each time I come. So next time I'm here, it's the two branches above the hazard sign. Cool. The wood's starting to look quite spring-like now. It's incredible in a week, all the leaves have come out. I'm having a cup of coffee out of the back of the van and then I'm going to uh, walk up to the top of the wood and see if there's anything on my trail cam and uh, then head back I think after that. A bit of a walk back.